you think that you'll be able to handle me, then that's on you. My darkest fantasy is to watch all those who wronged me die by my hand. That's my darkest one. It makes me want, it just, it's just one of my darkest fantasies of doing. I want to kill everybody who's wronged me, including those who keep calling me a pedophile online. I'm not going to let them keep doing this. One of these days, I'm, if the government won't even notice, I can make those people disappear. They think that you're a pedophile. Oh, oh, piss off, haters. And by the way, I only dated minors as a, it was only for show. I wasn't actually doing it. It was only for show. Oh. Some people took that too far, you know? I did it just for show. It wasn't, I wasn't even, either, I wasn't even serious with them. I just did it for show. You guys need to leave me alone and stop this crap now. <laughs> You're doing the same thing I do. When I crack a joke, I'm like, it was just a joke. Or is it? I do have a tail, but it's mostly visible to those who have the powers to see them, like werewolves, vampires, that sort of thing. I have zero dollars to my name right now. Have you ever thought about maybe becoming a star? Have you ever thought about that? I mean, what if, what if you and I decided to make, if ever you and I got married and we decided to make our own videos, which you, and we added them to different sites and they paid us a but ton of money, would you consider doing it with me every time? I was set up, I was tired, I was high on nicotine, and I wasn't thinking straight. I'm just, I'm just shuffling my Yu-Gi-Oh card, one of my Yu-Gi-Oh card decks. I'm just shuffling everything board. Why don't you come in and shuffle this Gucci? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have a car. If you think that you'll be able to tame my inner beast, Knock yourself out, girl. Oh. I'm I'm willing to get married just as long as it's not an open like like an open area where all my enemies can have a free invitation to come and you know try to kill me. I love you, and I know you want me. This is Corbin Pennell or better known to the internet as Jupiter the Hybrid. And you may be asking, well, what makes him a hybrid? And that's because he's a hybrid between a werewolf and a vampire. So you take those two things, you mix it with being a pedophile, and bam, you got Jupiter the Hybrid. You might want to throw a little bit of pony diddling in there too, because he has a bunch of kids with the pony you see him holding on screen. There's so much going on here with Jupiter, and today I'm going to give you all the rundown on him. Now let me tell you something here, I've covered a lot of wackos on the internet, we've talked about a lot of the, the scum from the doldrums of the internet, and Jupiter belongs right there, shoulder and shoulder with Cyrax, well maybe not shoulder and shoulder, Cyrax is very small, but after you see what we're going to be talking about here today, I'm sure you guys will be in complete agreement that this dude is just one of the worst. One of the worst people you'll ever come across on the face of this here internet. And with that all being said, let me tell you why. So with Jupiter here, I'm not going to get too much into his early life because I'm not even sure if there's that much out there to begin with. What I do know is that he has about 10 brothers and sisters and that he's from one of the most rural parts of Idaho. And now that's going to become very important a little later on in the video because Jupiter realizes that he lives in a very secluded place and he thinks that he can use this to his advantage to possibly hide some, uh, hide some internet trolls that might be bullying him if, if need be. And then you might be thinking, well, why is this poor, innocent, vampire, werewolf hybrid getting bullied? And well, there's a lot of reasons. There's, there's a whole, whole lot of reasons. And it all boils down to one thing. TikTok. Because Jupiter here, he knew he was meant to be a star. So he got on TikTok. He started, uh, he started sharing his opinions, sharing videos for the world to see. And it wouldn't be long until his true colors started to come to light. Now, the first thing that I saw about Jupiter were all these creepy Snapchat videos he was sending to a bunch of different girls. And I mean, creepy doesn't even do it justice. You're, <laughs> you probably saw a little bit of it in the intro, but you're going to see this and just go, oh my god, imagine getting this. Like, imagine having someone send you the type of stuff he's sending these women. Okay, Maya, three reasons we should date. One, if you like what you see, then take it. Two, if 
You think that you'll be able to handle me? Then that's on you. Three, you're cute as hell, and I'd love to have you on my arm. And here's a fourth reason. If you think that you'll be able to tame my inner beast, knock yourself out, girl. Thanks for watching, Maya. These are my reasons for you to date me. Hey, Coco, the reason why I want to marry you is because you're brave, smart, caring, kind. Well, soft yet tough and very, very brave and also very outgoing. I want to see more of that and more sides of that like you. Nyla, check this out. How could any of these women not be wooed by this? <laughs> well, Jesus Christ, look at his eyes. I love you. And I know you want me. I know you want it bad from me. This is a 25-year-old man sending the cringiest Snapchats to any woman who will just give him the time of day. Looks don't seem to be a factor, he simply just likes the, the personalities of these random women he's Snapchatting. Age doesn't seem to be a factor either, which is a huge problem we'll touch on in just a minute here, because if he was only sending cringy Snapchats like this, I bet you'd we'd still look and laugh at this guy, but the fact of the matter is it gets so much worse than that, because I bet you the whole time you've been seeing Jupiter, and you might see someone cut off on the other side of the screen, well that's Linda Binda. And it's really important to talk about this person now because they have gotten Jupiter to spill all the beans possible. Jupiter has admitted so many things to this person, completely unprovoked, and in my opinion, there's two factors to that. It's that he wants to be with this person, like he really wants to get in Linda Binda's pants, and it's also a little bit of autism, because he'll, he'll just say anything in, in hopes to try to wow somebody, to try to sound cool. Because in a lot of these clips we're about to watch, you can see Jupiter saying some batshit crazy things, things that make him look like a creep, make him look like a pedo, not even look like a pedo, make him be a pedo. And he's gonna say it all with a smile on his face, acting like he's the man. And so I want to show you guys the first time I ever saw one of these Jupiter and Linda interactions. Jupiter would just go up there, talk to Linda, and eventually now it seems like he's realized that this was all an act and that he was just getting messed with the whole time. But before he realized that, it was just amazing how much this guy would divulge because he really thought that this person was like a, a prospective love interest, you know? It seems like Jupiter would just admit anything to a woman he was trying to talk to. Sound familiar? <laughs> sound like Sound like a certain... Sonichu we know. Um, speaking of that, Mrs. Smokey did a video on the comparisons between Jupiter and Chris. I'm going to have that link down in the description below for you guys to go watch that. Pretty damn good video. And also, you know, just because we're going to be watching a lot of these clips, I'll have Linda Binda's channel down there too, so you guys can go watch all of these, these, these hours of conversations between Linda and Jupiter. Because right now, I'm just going to show you the craziest parts. And when I say crazy, ladies and gentlemen, I really mean it. Because this, this is going to have you losing your mind what's your deepest darkest fantasy my darkest fantasy is to watch all those who wronged me die by my hand that's my darkest one it makes me want it just it's just one of my darkest fantasies of doing i want to kill everybody who's wronged me oh yeah that's the one thing i'm going to say i want to kill those who are wrong who have wronged me as a person including those who keep calling me a pedophile online. I'm not gonna let them keep doing this. One of these days, I'm if the government won't even notice, I can make those people disappear. There's places out here in Idaho where I can bury bodies and no one would think to look. Have you done it before? Mm, not really done it, but actually thought of it. There are some places, there are some people I wanna, I wanna bury out somewhere in Melba where no one will ever think to look. There's places okay. here and no one would ever think to look for a body. He's just trying to sound edgy, but at the same time, if he had the means to do so, you know a creepy person like this would absolutely act on the things he's talking about. Now, he says that he wants to do this stuff to the people online who call him a pedophile. And I think it's just, you know, we're just going to jump right ahead and show you that the people calling him that, they aren't wrong. 
Jupiter, can I still send you pictures of myself even if I'm underage? Because I'm only 13. It's up to you, sweetie, if you want to. Because I don't mind. If you do, I don't mind. Do you plan on turning me in if I say yes? No, I would never. I'd lower the age of consent all the way to 16 if you guys wanted me to. Or I'd even change it to 15. So, like, like, what the fuck is this? This is a guy talking to someone who he believed was a 13-year-old girl. Because, again, like in most situations with these predators, this is a sting. Thankfully, they're not actually talking to a 13-year-old, someone who's posing as a 13-year-old. And a lot of people act like that's some deniability for someone like Jupiter, being like, oh, well, she wasn't a real kid. It was someone that he thought was a real kid. And he's telling them to send him pictures of themselves. Oh, if you want to, you know, you don't have to, but I wouldn't mind all that stuff. Then he's telling them that'll lower the age of consent to 16 then he goes on and drops it even further down to 15 like the dude the writing's on the wall for this dude but he doesn't want to he doesn't want to admit to that he wants to say all this stuff he wants to act in this way and then point the finger at the people calling him out for it and talk about how he wants to bury them in like his little town wherever he could get away with it or all that no nah. Dude is a straight up, uh, he's a problem. This guy is an absolute problem. People like this in society who want to do all this sick stuff and then threaten to hurt people who call them out on it, it's like, you're the problem. But obviously for Jupiter here, all that matters is that he's like a vampire werewolf who's allowed to do whatever he wants, and he can basically just put other people in their place, and their place apparently is in the ground if you call him out on all the weird shit he does. And so you may have heard it in the intro, but Linda Bind is about to ask Jupiter why he did all these things. And of course, most of it is the stereotypical, you know, predator being caught response, I was set up, this, that, and the third, but he adds so much extra shit on here that you just know he's thinking of any any excuse to get himself out of this situation. They want us to address the, um, the pedophile word again. Um, I was set up. That's my, that's my, you know, that's my side. I was set up. I was really set up. I was set up. I was tired. I was high on nicotine and I wasn't thinking straight. So, um, do you, are, have you stopped talking to pe to minors on TikTok? Yes, I have. I stopped. I quit doing that. There were some who contacted me on uh, on Discord, but I but I kind of blocked them and left their chats because I didn't want to be kept being set up. So I said it would be better if we all stayed friends until they're older. But until then, we're just gonna remain friends, you know? Yeah. But yeah, that's what I was gonna. That's what I should have said the first time, but instead I was high and exhausted at the time, so I wasn't thinking clearly. What are they putting in vapes nowadays that makes people get so high off of nicotine that they go and talk to... No, I did, I'm, I'm just messing around, obviously. I smoked seven cigarettes in a one hour and 15 minute stream the other day we were doing, and uh, no urge to talk to any kids. I don't, it's just, it's pretty cut and dry there, Jupiter. I don't know, I don't know where he gets this one from, but he clearly thinks that using that as an excuse, saying he was high, is like... It's enough of an excuse to just push all criticism away from him. Like, guys, I was drunk. I didn't mean to drive. <laughs> so that clearly makes you innocent now. And the weirdest thing about people like Jupiter is that it took so much strong arming to get him away from these minors to begin with. You heard him in that video there talking about straight up grooming them, saying that, well, we can be friends until you're of age, and then what's going to happen then? Friends until then? Well, then at that point, he just assumes they can be, be a couple or be whatever. He doesn't want to have to leave this type of stuff. It's a real, it's really white Bowser-ish of him, but it's what all these predators do. They, they don't want to have to leave this weird lifestyle they're living, but when enough people call them out for it, they feel like they just have to apologize and make it look like they're getting away from it, all the while they're really not. Now, something that I don't see many people mention about Jupiter, and something that he just, he says just off the cuff and really doesn't elaborate on it anymore, is the thing that we're about to hear at the end of the next clip we're about to watch. This next clip is so all over the place, and you're never gonna know which way it's going next, I'm telling y'all. Jupiter says like three or four just completely off the wall things, and every one of them are either gonna have you laughing, and by the end have you going, what the fuck? It's just... <laughs> there were some really good moments in these Linda Binda calls, and as I said, they'll all be down the link in the description below, but this one right here... This one is just, this sums up Jupiter pretty goddamn well. I'm not very big down there, but I can still provide some satisfactory. That's fine. 
Yeah. And to be honest, my sisters and I studied ninjutsu growing up. Me and my sibs, we all studied ninjutsu. How come every time I ask you about like, like my desires, you bring up your sisters? Oh, no, no, it's, it's, sorry, I have that bad habit of not, like my, how this is, I have a short attention span. So, sorry. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I'll do whatever. I'll do whatever to satisfy someone. This one chick who I dated back in high school. Know what she did after I fucked her? What? Press rape charges on me. Yeah, he won't elaborate on that, but I guarantee you there's a very good reason behind that. Whatever that girl had to deal with was probably horrible. And the fact that he's saying this like as a, like he, you see how he widens his eyes and he's like, oh yeah, can you believe she did that? No, I don't, I think all of us can't believe that you did that, Corbin. I don't know what the hell happened there, but the fact that that even transpired, I don't know, man. And this is right after he's talking about his, uh, his small member, you know, his little bird. He feels the needs to get that out of the way first and foremost so that he can then begin a long fruitful relationship with Linda Binda and then goes on and tells her about how he had some some charges pressed on him for that back in high school like bang up job Corbin great job you definitely don't sound like a creep I think it's another great moment to show that clip we showed earlier Twitter, can I still send you pictures of myself even if I'm underage because I'm only 13 it's up to you sweetie if you want to because I don't mind if you do I don't mind do you plan on turning me in if I say yes? No, I would never. I'd lower the age consent all the way to 16 if you guys wanted me to. Or I'd even change it to 15. And what's even more disgusting is that this isn't the only clip of him exhibiting some like really predatory behavior. Here's another one where he's talking to someone who he thinks is 15 years old. And this is the type of conversations that he thinks is just natural to have between him, a 25 year old man and a 15 year old girl. Have you ever thought about maybe becoming a star? Have you ever thought about that? I mean, what if, what if you and I decided to make if ever you and I got married and we decided to make our own videos, would you, and we added them to different sites and they paid us a butt ton of money, would you consider doing it with me every time? So not only is he looking to be in a relationship with these minors, he wants to record himself doing some like lewd acts upon them so that they can make money. Because obviously, I mean, look at this dude. He doesn't have a cent to his name. He wants to be a pedophile and get paid for it. Uh, he's like, is there anything more to say? Like, he's not all there. And again, you want to hear another, you want to hear another time of him trying to explain away his pedophilia? Because Linda Binda and another dude named Lou, who's going to become important pretty soon, uh, that they, they pressed him on this. They asked him more about the pedophilia stuff, and he always changes his answer, and it's never a valid answer. I mean, there is no valid answer, but his, his answers are just so fucking insane that it's just... It's crazy to think that he thinks he's in the right here. He straight up admits to being a pedo and then tries to walk it back and act like it's no big deal. The thing is that you sent inappropriate pictures to the minors. Yeah, it was one transgression. Wait, oh, how young? People would have let it go. And you said your, I mean, one was, your youngest was 13? Yeah, it was one mistake I made. So what? Get over it. Oh. Sick of you tired of talking about it. It just pisses me off that we're still on about that. Well, People are going on and on about it. No, you just shut the fuck up and actually listen to me for once and actually understand that it was a mistake I made and they need to stop. What do you think that you mistake. do you think that you should have a punishment for your mistake? I'm already being punished. I'm already living through hell because of it. Hey, Michael. And of course the Predator believes that he's already paid enough for his crimes and everyone should just forget about all of this stuff. And now he admits that he's even sent pictures to them. But guys, at the end of the day, you know, it was one transgression. Uh, he, he's just trying to sweep it under the rug. He's acting like the people bringing this up to him are the problem. They're the annoying ones. And it's what every one of these Predators online do. They want to act like everyone else is the problem and they're just a really innocent victim 
who got caught up in all this craziness. Absolutely not. And again, that line about living through hell, well, that's just him trying to say, oh, I've already suffered, I've already paid the price, I shouldn't have to go turn myself in, or really take any accountability for this other than me saying I will and then running off the internet right afterwards. Because, spoiler, that's what Jupiter did. He is no longer on the internet. Hopefully he'll be in a jail cell soon, but from as far as I'm concerned, he left one goodbye video and that's about it. But before we look at that goodbye video, which I know a lot of you probably want to see because with all this stuff of this guy admitting to talking to all these minors, sending them pictures, threatening to off anybody who calls him on it, I'm pretty sure you all can't wait to see this dude leave. But there's one other thing we haven't mentioned much of, and that's his relationship with his My Little Pony doll. So we're going to get into that now, and I'm going to show you some of the crazy shit he talks about with this. The dude interviewing him with this is the same guy who was just on the couch next to Linda Binda when, when, <laughs> when he gave that admission of sending the picture to the minors. But his channel will be in the link in the description below, too. But this, this clip is just... Just as insane as you would expect, with the guy who said all the stuff he's already said in this video, I'm pretty sure him talking about, like, making making children with this My Little Pony doll is gonna sound pretty tame compared to all the weird shit he's already said. Is our hoof, my claw, cross my thumb, alright, yes. blood of my blood, be undone. That's how I dispel the spell, now that she has my blood running through her veins, now that she's, oh, <gasps> she, she shocked, she shocked me with some of her powers. She shocked me. That's why I turned and went, oh, what the? <laughs> oh, testy she she's, wants. She gets all testy whenever I do the dispel ritual after bringing her back from the dispel. She gets all testy with me and tries to f shock or try to do some damage to let me know that she's displeased. Sorry, Shiratora. I'm very, very sorry. And yeah, she understands. She's just mad at me for having to do that. Hey, you watch your mouth, Missy. You have kids with Shiratora? Yeah, her and I, uh, her and I have quite a few. Not gonna lie. But, uh, yeah. That's why I said, honey, watch your mouth. Um, otherwise. I not understand why our babies are swearing and some of our kids swear. That's why I'm telling her to watch her mouth. So here are most of our kids. Ah, <gasps> who's this? Little Cherry. Little, this is Little Cherry Blossom. Little Cherry. And then we have Little Silver Flame here, our son. So it seems we have an Adam and Eve situation. So eventually, do your children have to, you know, in, you know, to continue? Uh, no, not inbreed. They don't inbreed. They find their own mate. I don't raise no animal in my house. Oh, uh, you know, fair enough. To have a more human body, but I haven't been able to find any good human bodies that'll fit her, you know? You want it like a host? Yeah, a new host body is what I've been looking for, but... Where? Normally, I can't find anything big enough to fit that description, like a human companion. So, uh, how typically would one go about this sort of scenario of getting a human host? I usually have to find, like, something life-size enough to, like, human-sized to put her soul into. I have to find a body that is the right, you know, qualification for her. She, She's very picky about which body she inhabits. She's very picky. See, it's not just the werewolf and, like, vampire shit that makes this guy weird. Um, it's definitely the pedo shit. That's definitely most of it. But, I mean, look at this. He believes in, like, all types of this magic. He thinks that these little My Little Pony dolls are now his children. Um, that, like, what, what is there, what is there more to say about this guy? He's also looking for a human body to be the host for his My Little Pony doll. Because, you know, priorities, ladies and gentlemen, am I right? Like, come on, who needs a job or anything when you can be focusing on your love life with these My Little Pony characters? But there's so much to talk about with Jupiter. And the one thing I really wanted to bring up at the very end of this, in regards to Jupiter leaving the internet, is that after all this time of fighting to claim that he's not a pedophile finally the internet got the best of him and jupiter decided to let people know what's what in one final message to the internet it is with a humble heart that i jupiter aka corbin pinnell was a pedophile and i'm hated for those crimes 
I ask the world's forgiveness, as well as those who I've wronged, Bree, and all those other named souls that I have wronged. Pedophilia was never really what was supposed to be, and I apologize for those actions that I have taken. I am Corbin and Jupiter, and I give you my solemn word that it will never happen again. Free and other countless souls who I have hurt and wronged. I beg your forgiveness for the pedophilia I have done. I am not worthy of knowing if you forgive me or not. I am unworthy. And to the rest of the world, I was a pedophile, but I have seen the error of my ways and wish to be forgiven of my pedophilia crimes. And to all those others that I have hurt and wronged, I ask you to forgive me. I was never meant to hurt anyone. I bow my head in shame, and I am ashamed to call myself a Jupiter. I am ashamed of my actions, and I wish to be forgiven of the pedophilia crimes I have been accused of. And I promise you that it will never, ever happen again. I swear on the name of Jupiter and Corbin Pennell. I swear upon that name that I will make this right. I promise I will make this right. I am unworthy of calling myself Jupiter. This video is my apology to the world for my crimes. And I ask again to be forgiven of those said crimes, of pedophilia, of being a horrible person and a monster. I ask to be forgiven. Well, do y'all forgive him? Do y'all forgive the self-admitted pedo for being a pedo? I don't. I don't assume many of y'all do either. But it'll be interesting to see where Jupiter goes from here because in his mind, you know damn well he thought this was a very good apology by saying that, you know, he doesn't deserve to be even called a Jupiter and he doesn't even deserve to, you know, yada, yada, yada. Who cares? It's just him trying to, he's trying to run away from all of it again, face no accountability and just let the internet think that I am sorry and I'm, I'm grieving and apologizing over this terrible thing I've done when it's, it's, it's all for not Jupiter. You've gone too far with it, you've tried doubling down so many times, and you've proven that even when faced with the fact that you did this stuff, you still wanted to go on there and be friends with those minors until they were adults. Why? Because you just couldn't get the fuck away from it. It's clear that we're watching one of the weirdest dudes I've ever seen before. The stuff with the pony dolls, the stuff with him wanting to off all of his, like, detractors and all that. It's just, he's not all there. This is clearly a person who's just been locked up in his room for the past what past 25 years knows nothing of the real world and is strictly just living on the internet doing all this creepy shit all day long and it's always scary to think how many people like jupiter are out there that just don't go on tiktok and make themselves known don't go on the internet and let people know what they're doing because jupiter the reason everyone's so disgusted by the guy is because they know all this stuff about him but the world's a really bleak place when you imagine that there's probably a lot of other weird just like him hiding out there in the fucking in the corners of the world somewhere and I always think it's the best for these people to get online let these feelings be known so that everyone can keep a good eye on them and with this dude going off the radar now it's just an eerie thing to see I hope he ends up in jail before we see this guy on the news for doing some like dastardly shit but always remember that with these locales a lot of times people say oh my god you guys are too focused on keeping an eye on these people why don't you just let them be because of people like Jupiter, because of people like Cyrax, because of people like Daniel Larson, if you don't keep an eye on these people, they're just gonna run off and do all this weird pedo shit again. And that's why I think it's safer for them to be in a group even where they're being bullied. It doesn't matter how hard, it's better than them actually talking to kids at the end of the day. Is that right or not? It's for your own interpretation, but to me, I'll always see it that way. So with all that being said, 
If this dude does anything more, we'll absolutely cover him here on the channel if anything goes down with Jupiter, but I hope you guys liked this. Obviously, it wasn't all in like a good timeline chronological order, but I just wanted to cover the things I felt was most important about this story. And I've already mentioned again, you can go find Linda Binda's channel, The Dude Lou. You can also find Miss Smokey's Jupiter video down in the description, as well as the two creep versions of Mario 64 songs you heard um, in the beginning and the end of this video. All of it will be down there. So if you guys want to check any of that out, go ahead. And if you like the content you see on this channel, I hope you stick around and uh, chill with the gang, y'all. Every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I do a show called Too High for Stupid on Kiwi Tapes' channel over with Kiwi. And it's always a good time every week, so I hope you guys can stop by. And yeah, with that all, with that all out of the way, have a great day, y'all. I'll see you on the next one, and take care, my friends.